Chloe. I'm a software developer at Brixis at the R&D team. Outside of work, I uh, started playing the piano. I uh, developed uh, mainly parameterize, so uh, that's what I'm working on the last year. And what is that? So uh, parameterize um, creates uh, fully constrained uh, 3D models, uh, and it's created uh, fully automatically. It does this by adding um, constraints at first, without over-constraining anything, and then um, it creates uh, parameters for every uh, unique value. It's really for people that uh, create components and um, that want to build intelligence in the components um, really quickly. But uh, we also want to include uh, parametric arrays. And uh, now it works on 3D solids, but we want to extend this so that it also works in uh, 2D. We actually started with like, a really simple chair and then uh, it worked on it. So now every time when I sit on the chair, I think, how can I parameterize it? <laughs> You can animate the parameters to see what it actually did. And I'm always happy when I just animate a parameter and I see, okay, it's actually worked and I don't have to do anything manually anymore. So. Okay, I'll give you a demo now from the parameterized tool. Here we have a closet and let's say we want to change some little details about it. And it's really easy, we just use a parameterized tool to create all the constraints and the parameters. You can see in the mechanical browser that there aren't any um, constraints yet. So we just select all the solids and then we click on the parameterize button. And then you see that in one second it created all the parameters and all the constraints. You can use animate to see uh, what the parameters uh, really constrain. You can see length x. Um, animates the overall width and um, that's really easy to change then. So you can, for example, change the value of um, length x to a larger one. And then everything just um, comes along. You can use the mechanical browser, but you can also use like the new visualization tool for um, to see the constraints. So you just click on a face and then a widget appears and then uh, you can see the different uh, constraints that are on the face. You can also change the value of the parameters uh, in the panel. So let's see uh, which other constraints are created. For example, here on the drawer width, you see that there is a constraint and um, there's an expression and it looks quite complicated because it searches, searches for uh, ratio expressions. But actually, it's not that hard. You can see that it keeps the draw width to one third of the overall width. So you can change it to another value and then you see that it's now one fourth. But if you don't want the ratio expressions, you can also just uh, change it by a fixed value and then it's um, more simple and you don't need to worry about the ratio expressions. And you can just see all the constraints by just clicking uh, all the faces. You can also change the expressions in the boxes themselves. 